Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about FY device troubleshooting CLI commands. So these are the very important command you can run during the time of any troubleshooting to show any detail. You can run that. So first is like if show system management IP address. What is the command to show that? So you need to run TMSH traffic management shell list sys management IP. So this is a command. So next is net state hyphen nr forward slash hyphen r. It will show you the routing table of F5 with default gateway. Port lockdown the default spotted protocol and service. You can run list under TMS net self alert. To check system is able to resolve the name or not, you need to simply type NSLOOKUP or you can run the DIG. Show interface Ethernet 1, TMS show network interface, show interface. You can run that command to see the interface detail. SFP device serial number, TMS list network interface media active vendor serial. This is a command to see that. Next is TMS list networks interface all properties. So it will show you the detail of all the interface properties. Next is display the valid media type for a specific interface like it's 100 T 100 or 1000. So it's a list net interface media hyphen capabilities. So this is a command if config if config is a command to see the IP address and if you want to see the specific you can run the Ethernet 0, Ethernet 1, Ethernet 2 menu. So ping is a command to ping the destination IP and you can take the help also. So now you can run the ping command. You want to reach this destination from this. You can run that command. So this is a very helpful command, telnet command, if you want to check like your backend server are able to listen on port 80, port 43 or not. And another is a get command is also there. It will provide the response like 200 response 443. Curl command is there, HTML content from the server, you can see that. Another very important command during the time of troubleshooting you can run, it's a TCP dump command. When you are, you run TCP dump on a VLAN that resides in a known default partition, you must specify the partition to the VLAN object in the TCP dump syntax. Okay, partition name and VLAN name you need to define. And you can see next is PVA chip. You can run TMS show assist hardware grab IPVA. So basically a grab command is used like if you want to see any specific content, you can run the grab command. And it will run under the TMS. Okay, so this is a command to combine all the TCP dump process collected. Okay, so basically these all are the TCP dump command. You can go through, you can take a pose and like a 30 packet you want to capture, right? And it based on ethernet. So these are the very, very important command to troubleshoot the issues. So you can run TCP dump hyphen I and your source address will be and and 
post destination and port 80 you can run in that way also okay so it will show you the live capture detail but you have another command also you can see this capture all traffic and write it to a file okay so it's a pcap or text format you can save it after that you can analyze in wireshark or in notepad like if you have a text format notepad plus plus you can analyze that pcap is a very very useful tool you need to run wireshark in your system okay so after that you can run this pcap file in wireshark and you can analyze the uh, captures Thanks so.